For years, there have been dreams of Minnesota hosting a cross-country ski World Cup. It would mean a lot because I think I'd want to go. The first World Cup on U.S. snow since 2001. Yeah, I would want to be in the front seats. Leading the charge was Olympic gold medalist Jesse Diggins. This is, you know, the biggest center of cross-country skiing in America, and uh, I think it would be really, really special, and it would be inspiring to everyone. Inspiration turned to reality with more than two years of preparation and plenty of snowmaking at Theodore Wirth Park in Minneapolis. We've got wax cabins in, we've got the course looking in great shape, we've got tents going up. It's going to be a celebration of, of uh, Minnesota. Which brings us to today. I am the executive director of the Lopit Foundation. And the reason why John Munger's phone. Let me, let me turn this thing off. Hasn't stopped ringing. There's just been a lot of different pieces to weigh and you know, events just kind of took their, took their course uh, in the last 48 hours. The World Cup confronted with a worldwide pandemic. Concerns over COVID-19 caused them to cancel the entire four day skiing festival. There's just so many of us that have invested so much time and energy and emotion in all this. And it's not so much the not being able to do it as it is thinking about all the energy and all the things that have come together. Already, they're breaking down what they've just started putting up. You know, we had all the stuff going this way and just tell them to start going back this way, right? The Lopet Foundation was preparing for more than 140 of the best skiers in the world, coming from about 15 countries. More than 20,000 people were expected to show up during those four days. I have not had a single negative reaction. I've had, you know, emails and texts from people all over the world, um, you know, saying how supportive they are and how proud they are to be associated with the organization. The Lopet Foundation is a nonprofit, and more than 12,000 volunteer hours have been put into the event. I think the United States ski community really feels really proud right now that, <laughs> sorry, that that we've um, we've been able to to uh, show the world that we can do this. It's too early to know, but all that preparation may put them on the path to host in the future, reaching that finish line. Just want to thank the whole whole community for for the support. You know, you don't do the actual event, but there is this legacy of community. I like that sentiment. John says at this point, the nonprofit's not sure what the financial hit of this is going to be a reminder like we do each night as of late. If you have any questions and you want to see the latest reports about coronavirus, you can do so by texting us and a link will come back to you. So on your smartphone, type in the number 763-797-7215 and then text the word virus. You'll get some information bounced back to you.